Life never knows what tomorrow brings because it's opaque. But the brain can cut through the transparent past and tap those nostalgic memories to wake. Imagery of childhood renovates brain so it looks like a gallery. Portrait and abstract, but one mosaic depicts the crucifixion on Calvary. This is when he really died because everything was bliss. An eye for an eye was then an eye for a kiss. This is a remembrance of childhood like it's dead and gone, but its past still lives on. Like great tools, works and names have been calligraphed on life's papyrus. We were children who were vagrants like my papi was. The only difference was that we had better dreams because we came home to sleep the night away. Fly away kites made of paper and broomsticks with strong threads to give them skyscraper heights with floors of about 96. Experts in building these flying creatures, so when it broke we could always fix. The dreams that we had today were that tall. Midget physique, so when we looked up, we went dizzy and we did fall. Parents with whips were like robots. They swung with an even interval. So we all had cane stripes on us like zebras in the wild. The rod was never spared if things were not done properly. But stones and caution were thrown to the wind because we were God's property. Police and thief was a brand new hide and seek. And because each group wanted to win, we adopted a warlike technique. Dummy weapons were aimed at opponents with an accuracy, because our elbows had grease, but none of my peers were Greeks. Life in those days was a portrait. We all had smiles like Mona Lisa. I was a local kid, so I knew what was Contumbre and Pona. They didn't know what was Pisa. Fanta and Coke were not common to us. They only came through on special occasions. Easter and Christmas conjured more eggs, so there was a celebration. Rains that the clouds puke dropped on the soft deck with dignity. We enjoyed games in the mud because there was key soap and elders greeted each other. You could feel the serenity. The football that we played needed no stadiums like the Bundesliga. We were both players and referees. Back then, we didn't know what was FIFA. Presence of a Sox ball or case 5 made the moment just right to play small poles or four corners. It was with our bare feet because we had no trainers. Shins were hardened like craniums and we worked ourselves up during the day so at night we slept like we had several pills of Valium. Nana Osei was daddy and Abna Sewa was mommy in playhouse and the game for miniature parents then was you remove my shirt and I take off your blouse. My street is dead now, way back it was filled with hawkers. Every junction was occupied by noisy petty sellers and if I knew this type of horn then I would have called them vuvuzelas. I used to catch tadpoles in big gutters and trapped grasshoppers in pokey robbers because at home it was just a dog so I wasn't content. You should see how my mom hopped back when she checked the content. The alicoto that we played had more spin than the porter's wheel. We went on top of hills so our tires could glide and those sticks were our steering wheel. If I had a chance to meet my past in my future once again, I'll beg her to take me back into time so I can knock my friends on their heads when they forget to say no Zanzama. Play Charles Kelly or Dikos with Mike and Mahama and mock four-year-olds when they lose a tooth. Memories.